Hey, what's going on guys? Flick here. Today I'm excited to share the first episode of a new series that I'll be starting where I showcase different players from the Seattle Sounders. And for this inaugural episode, I thought we would take a look at the 82 rated informed version of Clint Dempsey in Ultimate Team. I used him at the EMLS tournament back at PAX East, so I have some experience using this player in game before and I thought he would be the perfect player to debut this series. In other channel related news, you might notice that the backdrop for this video is different than what you're used to and the reason for that is because I moved house so this will be my setup for the near future. I'm going to be making a few modifications over the next couple of weeks but I'm liking how things are looking so far and also you guys probably know that the World Cup expansion mode of FIFA 18 is coming out on this Tuesday and I'll be definitely making some content over that and probably doing some player spotlights related to the World Cup expansion mode. But considering that the focus of this video is on Dempsey and not on me, we're going to switch over to the full gameplay screen and I'll provide some commentary in the background for you guys. For this player spotlight, we'll be using Dempsey in two different teams in two different roles. I want to highlight Dempsey's playing history in Major League Soccer, the Premier League, and the US Men's National Team as he's contributed a lot to each of those campaigns. After getting a start with the New England Revolution in 2000, 2004, Dempsey moved to Fulham for the 06-07 season, and Fulham is where I think most fans abroad came to know Dempsey for his ability to score crucial goals in the Premier League as well as in Europe. It obviously caught the attention of Tottenham Hotspur where Dempsey made a move to in 2012, and one year later, Dempsey was set to make his return to Major League Soccer after being announced as the designated player for the Sounders in 2013. Since arriving in Seattle, Dempsey has appeared in 108 matches and scored 57 goals. The first team that we'll be highlighting is a full MLS side that has a heavy focus on the Sounders. With that said, there's some other big names in this team, including Team of the Season, Sebastian Jovinko, Team of the Week, David Villa from the most recent Team of the Week, and Fut Birthday, Bastian Schweinsteiger. If you plan on using this team in Division 1 like I did, do keep in mind that it will take some time to adjust to a slower style of build-up play. You might not be able to pull off the same level of skills that only a select number of players can do in FIFA 18, but I will say that using this squad allowed me to get back to the basics of FIFA and improve my gameplay in the long run. The reason that I chose to set up my attack the way I did was because I knew I needed a rapid striker alongside Dempsey to unlock his full potential. As Giovinco made darting runs to split the defense, Dempsey served as more of a target man striker, receiving the ball at his feet and using his precise dribbling to create space and bury chances. Via sat in behind the two strikers. If he ever got the ball outside the 18 yard box, he could curl it in with either foot due to his five star weak foot. There are copious amounts of quality midfielders in MLS and that's the primary reason I chose to go with this diamond formation that relies on passing the ball so well. Schweinsteiger was the most attacking of the midfielders and I often let him go into the box and support the trio in our attack. And if you're able to get the ball onto Bastian's right foot, you may as well have a hit because it will likely be on target. Alonso served as a box-to-box -box midfielder, helping out the attack when he needed to, but mostly occupying space to prevent counterattacks to our defense. And Bradley pretty much sat in front of our defenders to serve as a fifth defender for us. A few lessons learned from using this team, I conceded way too many goals in the first couple of games because I didn't make any tactical changes to how I normally defend. Since you're going to be using defenders that aren't quite as quick as your Eric Baez and Sergio Ramos is, I would suggest turning down your defensive pressure and aggression in the custom tactics. For example, I usually play with 60 pressure and 60 aggression, but for this team, I found that 50 for each of those tactics work the best. The second team I used had Dempsey play as a midfielder that would get forward and get involved in the attack. And while I still think Dempsey is best suited as a striker in game, this setup opened up more options for squad building outside of just Major League Soccer and players from the United States. For this team, I focused on players from the Premier League and Americans and leagues abroad. Our attack consisted of three versatile and unique goal scorers. Both Chupo Moting and Alexandrini have the pace on most defenders, so we had the instructions for them to get in behind, and from there, they're going to use their dribbling and scaling ability to generate chances for us. And Zlatan requires no introduction, but we'll be using him as a target man striker, who, similar to Dempsey in our first team, will receive the ball at his feet. With only three midfielders to hold down the center of the pitch, it was important for me to have at least one player quick enough to serve as a box-to-box -box midfielder. And Musa 
Joseph Nabele fits that description perfectly with his high to high work rates and 76 pace. Jeff Cameron was needed for chemistry reasons and while he might not be the best Premier League holding midfielder in FIFA, he was pretty consistent for me. Our defense in this team was an upgrade compared to our last side and it showed in game. Sticking with the Spurs connection, we have Danny Rose and Jan Vertonghen on the left side. Rose is arguably the best normal gold left back in the Premier League, so the choice was pretty obvious there. And I was able to pack Team of the Season Vertonghen through the guaranteed Premier League Tots SBC, and he's been a rock in the back for me ever since. If you play a high pressure defense like I do, I definitely recommend using him because he actually has high attacking work rates, and that sometimes pays off for a defender. John Brooks is one of three gold American center backs in game and featured in my Bundesliga squad at the start of this FIFA. And lastly, former Sounder and current Newcastle United fullback DeAndre Yedlin will close out our defense. It's great to see him getting regular minutes at Newcastle and we can only hope that his rating continues to increase in FIFA over the next few years. Castiles was our goalkeeper for chemistry reasons and for a non-rare gold player, he was surprisingly decent. He pulled off some good saves and didn't concede any howlers. In terms of goal contribution, Dempsey scored 11 goals and generated 3 assists over his 5 games playing as a striker in our first team. Dempsey tacked on 2 more assists as a midfielder in our second team. But to be fair, two of the five matches did end early via disconnects. Getting into the nitty gritty, I would list his physicality, positioning, and shooting all under his pros. 87 attack positioning and 82 reactions meant that Dempsey was always in the right place at the right time, and he scored a few tapping goals for us. His shooting was on point with 86 finishing, 89 shot power, and 81 long shots. And finally, the fact that he's six foot one with 87 heading and 78 strength meant that he could win challenges in the air and hold off defenders. For cons, the pace is the obvious one that sets a lot of people off from using this card. 70 acceleration and 70 sprint speed is not great, but as long as you have the right setup with a second striker that can get in behind the defense, I don't think the pace is a major issue. It's just a matter of modifying your playstyle slightly to play to Dempsey's strengths. And another con was Dempsey's micro dribbling in game. And if you're not familiar with what I mean by this, these are the rapid turns of direction that can confuse your opponent when you're dribbling inside their box. Someone like Giovinco can do this consistently, but Dempsey's 71 agility and 68 bounce is going to lead to some issues. Overall though, I enjoyed using Dempsey for these 10 games and appreciated the chance to try out some different players and squads to what I've used up to this point in FIFA. If you're building an MLS team, I think Dempsey is definitely good enough to find a place into your starting 11, whether that be as that second striker or someone in the midfield. Additionally, you're only going to spend about 16,000 coins on this card and in terms of inform cards, you're not risking very much in terms of losses, but that will be a wrap on today's Sounders Player Spotlight. If you did enjoy this style of content, feel free to let me know by leaving a like on the video and dropping a comment with some feedback on what you'd like to see in future episodes. But until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.